Uh, hello, everyone. I hope you can hear me well and see my screen that I checked already. Uh, thank you so much for coming to my talk. My name is Roshan Naik Rahmat, and I'm so excited to talk about the fascinating world where AI-enabled computer vision is not only improving medicine, but also it helps us to move toward personalized medicine. And I would talk about its potential in the field of radiotherapy that I worked during my PhD, as well as my latest industrial experience. The reason I chose this topic is because personalized medicine has potential to revolutionize healthcare. And of course, uh, when it is combined with the power of AI, it opens doors to innovation approaches in radiotherapy. Just before we start, a bit of warning. Of course, it's impossible to cover uh, all related topics in the short period of time I have to present. So I highly recommend if you have any question uh, or you would like to know more about my work, uh, you can find me on these platforms and my ID for all of them is Roshan Rahman. Uh, so wonderful, let's explore how these technologies are advancing together. So to start and before we um, yeah to start and before we dive into the technical details, let's establish a fundamental understanding of personalized medicine. Uh, it's about customizing medical treatments to individual uh, individual patients, considering their unique genetic, environmental, and lifestyle factors. As we can see in this figure, people are having different demographics. But when it comes to medicine in general, we look at human population rather than each individual. And this, uh, this figure, this picture shows that although people are different, they all go through the same treatment as soon as medics classify them for a specific disease. The truth is they get different responses for, the, for the same treatment. I mean, due to our differences, we can expect that the treatment has different outcome for different individuals. But how if we are able to study each individual better and with respect to their differences, we provide a personalized and a specialized treatment for them? And instead of seeing no effect or even adverse cases, we maximize treatments for everyone. Uh, sorry, just, I don't know what happened to my mouse. Okay, it's working, sorry. Now, let's think how if we merge all the available information we can obtain from an individual. For example, patients' genome data, their demographics, their medical history, imaging scans, and their lab tests. Merging data is difficult for us as a human, but AI can change the future of medical treatment as it has the ability to find the patterns we are looking for from different data sources. In personalized medicine, we are moving away from one size fits all approaches. But this transition comes with complexities such as handling diverse data sources and making accurate predictions. AI enabled computer vision is the convergence of AI and visual data analysis. In healthcare, it's a game changer. We are talking about systems that can extract meaningful insights from medical images, such as X-rays, MRIs, and CT scans. These insights translate into more precise and personalized diagnosis. But we are not stopping there. We are leveraging AI's power to enhance radiotherapy too. Now, let's say that patient that has cancer and doctors decide to have radiotherapy as a method of treatment. We can see that how AI is used in this field. So radiotherapy is conducted by these devices that we can see in this figure, in this uh, slide, which are called linear accelerator or LINAC in short. 
So radiation therapy or radiotherapy is a cancer treatment that uses high doses of radiation to kill cancer cells and shrink tumors. The radiation beams conducted from Lenac kills cancer cells or slows down their, the growth by the, uh, damaging their DNA. So this slide might give you better understanding of what is the whole process of radiotherapy. First, uh, in the step one, 3D medical images are acquired to visualize the internal organs for the doctors. Then an expert radio, radiotherapist who have been trained for many years sits down and draws the tumor shape on each 2D slide. When, uh, then uh, with the shape doctor delineated before starting the treatment, we can plan the treatment. The treatment is done in many sessions. For example, for lung cancer, it can go to 30 days, almost around four to six weeks. Just remember that radiation is done with the same shape, <clears throat> with the same shape during all the time, the same shape that the doctor drew before treatment starts. We hope that the tumor shrinks, but it might not be the case for every patient. In a stage four, that let me show you the video. In stage four, you can see that LINAC can rotate around the patient to deliver the estimate dose to the tumor. The lower image shows that collimator leaves change shape to adjust beam shape from different angles. So Although we can see lots of advances in this field and still lots of computer vision applications involved, such as image segmentation, registration, reconstruction, and so on. But why not all patients respond well to the radiotherapy? Even patients suffering from the same type of disease, they don't respond the same way. They respond differently, to be honest. This picture can visualize what I want to tell you better. Look at this. There are people who get bad skin reactions during radiotherapy. They get terrible bruises after treatment and lots of other problems comes with them. Why this happens? Maybe because the amount of dose we deliver to different people should not only rely on their tumor shape, maybe the type or the volume that we are considering is not enough. Maybe other factors we should consider as well, like the gender, the skin color, and so on. These factors can impact the treatment as well. So radiotherapy, as we know, plays an important role in cancer treatment. And personalizing it can significantly improve patient outcomes. Personalized radiotherapy tailors treatment plans to each patient's unique anatomy, tumor characteristic, and response patterns. AI-enabled computer vision steps in by analyzing medical images, such as CT scans, to precisely identify tumor boundaries and critical structures. This accuracy empowers us to optimize radiation doses for maximum therapeutic effect while minimizing harm to healthy tissues. But there are even more information we can leverage from each patient's benefit. Demographics such as age, gender, they all play a, a role. But we can delve deeper into details like skin color, which can impact radiation absorption and dose distribution. So here is where it gets exciting. The concept of generalist med biomedical AI. As discussed in the Google Health paper, it aligns perfectly with our goal. This paper, envisions a single AI model that can interpret diverse medical data types and handle multiple tasks. This, uh, uh, think about the possibilities, a single system that analyzes medical images, clinical records, and genomics data. 
So helping us make more informed decision in personalized radiotherapy and beyond. In personalized radiotherapy, we are dealing with the wealth of data, <clears throat> medical images, patient reports, genomics data, and more. Integrating these diverse sources is no small feat. The paper's idea of a unified multimodal AI model comes into play. Imagine a model that interpret interprets um, uh, CT scans alongside patient's history, and genetic information. This, this synergy of data opens doors, uh, opens doors to highly tailored treatment plans. Now, let's dive into the technical details of MedPalm Multimodal, or in short, MedPalm-M. This is a groundbreaking AI system showcased in the, pa in the paper. It can perform various tasks like medical image classification, question answering, and more, all using the same set of model weights. This versatility translates to competitive performance, often surpassing uh, specialized models. Imagine the potential of such a system in generating personalized radiotherapy plans and treatment recommendations. Now let's envision the application. AI-powered computer vision powered by models like MedPalm. They can revolutionize personalized radiotherapy. Imagine the system analyzing CT scans and patient records, precisely delineating tumor boundaries and critical structures. What would be the result? It would opti be an optimized treatment plan that minimize radiation exposure to healthy tissues and increase the chances of successful outcomes. As we look ahead, the potential is huge. Generalist biomedical AI models can reshape personalized medicine and radiotherapy. However, chances lie on our path from ensuring data quality to gaining regular, uh, regu regulatory approvals. We must, we must foster collaboration among AI experts, medical professionals, and regulatory bodies. Research and validation are crucial to realizing the full potential of AI in these domains. And this is the end of my talk. Thank you so much for your attention. And I'm open to any question you might have.